things. So, what do we have here? Magandang umaga sa inyo mga kabayan, magandang araw sa inyo mga kapatid at mga katropa. So, meron tayo ngayon dito some box. Alagay dyan is Game Seer Z1 Gaming Keypad, the mechanical way of mobile gaming. So, bagong device na naman. Gaming device uh, na ating i-review ngayon. Actually, unbox and then try na natin i-review. So, here, there's a special features that they claim. So, there's a RGB LED backlit, mechanical switches, ergonomic palm rest, programmable keys, and a built-in remapper. This is new, guys. This is uh, something that uh, I'm interested most, <laughs> the built-in remapper. This is a sturdy, nice, slick package. Not a cheap box. And here at the back, so makita natin dyan, sa likuran ng box na to, eh, meron din siyang specification. So, what do we have here is one-handed mechanical keypad with mouse converter. That's nice. Compatible with iOS, Android, and Windows PC. There's also a 33 programmable key at your service, built-in remapping function, Bluetooth connection, Type-C USB connection. So, wow. Medyo nag-upgrade na sila. Mechanical key with uh, customizable RGB backlighting. Exclusively designed for mobile PC FPS gaming. Oh, really interesting. Anti-sweat texture surface. Aluminum alloy base plate. Ergonomic keypad with palm rest panel. And, wow, this is a good battery. So, we have a 2000 mAh battery. So, with ultra long endurance. Yeah, it is. Here is some of the key function of this uh, device. Mm hmm. So. We should see what's inside the box. Then, 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 then. There you go. The device itself. Look nice and sturdy. Tough one. They uh, use a good quality materials here. There is the aluminum and the plastic itself. It's quite good quality. So as you can see, the key, yeah, the key button here, it's, there's a clicking sound. So it's, yeah, it's mechanical. It's nice. For me, it's nice when I hear the clicking sound. So and the texture of WAS, WASD is quite interesting. There is like a carbon texture here. What also do we have here? I guess this is the space bar. So it is, yeah, ergonomic. So they put the space bar just, just the area when you can easily touch it or push it. And here in the side, we can see the, what do you call this, the on and off button, yeah, and there is an icon of desktop and uh, mobile here, so I guess this is a switch, and there's a switch button of on and off, so let's see, hmm, maybe this one, ah, the battery life. So as you can see, it is uh, fully charged, and uh, here is the maybe the connection at this one. Here is the Type C port, 
Maybe this one is for charging, I guess. And there is a USB 3 port here. Okay. What also do we have here is the charging cable. So yeah, it is the type C. Yep, type C. Sorry. So as we can see also there is a good backlighting here. Ah, it's changing. Blue to green. Yeah, it's changing. It's nice. Quite uh, interesting this one. So it's like a gaming keyboard. Yeah, but it's a gaming keypad. Alright, enough for this. So maybe we should try this device to incorporate or to interface with uh, some of my device like uh, my iPod. Okay, let's try this device. So we have here guys my mouse, my wireless mouse, the Game Series A1 and the iPod. So I already integrate my wireless mouse as you can see here. I already put the dongle, my wireless mouse, here in the USB port here. And I already turned on the switch of on and the mobile switch here. Okay. So, what do we need here is, I guess, the we're gonna install the G Crooks this one and yeah the G crooks and I guess the FPS dock as well so let me show you I will delete this app okay and also the FPS dock so we can go through step by step on how to install these two applications. <clears throat> Actually, you can see this in App Store. So we will just try FPS Dock. FPS Dock. There you go. So we will just install this one. And let's try to search the G Crooks. G Crooks. There you go. <clears throat> Here is it. G Crooks. So we will also install that one, but not the game sale board. Uh, so this is nice guys when you use the iOS device uh, G Crooks and the FPS dock was legit I mean it is a, a authentic application that you can see in App Store so here we install already the G Crooks you can open this one uh, use the Bluetooth OK then oh, the Bluetooth is open so let's see as you can see there is a the G Crooks already um, recognize the FPS dock on the Z1 yep and let's see if it's the FPS dock is finished. Yeah, it's finished. It's here. Okay, let's press OK. Then it's connected. There you go. It's connected. Yep. Currently connected to device FPS dock 1. So I guess this is the Z1 games here keypad. Then 
what do we have here I have previously previously have the screenshot of my PUBG so we can use that one okay so let's try in the recent this one so what do we want to do is uh, just uh, press the download and then save and let's try to press the config mobile official config let's press this one this one then as you can see uh, there is an overlapping key from the screenshot that we took from the PUBG and this is one this one overlapping key uh, this is the our key remapper from the games here or uh, from the FPS doc so as you can see if we select the PUBG mobile official config so this is the layout of the remap or the key remap so it is what it is I think we don't have to change any or make it uh, just the default so what we can do is just save this one and type in whatever uh, name you want I will just type in one then finish then save then download then close so it is not that complicated like we have in the our X1 so we will try this one now in the PUBG mobile itself okay there you go so guys we already installed yung FPS dock and the G crooks napakadali kasi uh, makikita mo agad siya sa app store let's try training yep it's working smoothly and it is uh, responsive what I think guys is uh, this uh, game here Z1 is much responsive than my uh, X1 battle duck so let's try picking up gun mm. oh the button was nice and I was like a much satisfying when I hear the clicking sound yep it's working jump spacebar uh, let's try the mouse yep it's working yep it's working guys so let's try to pick up uh, some <clears throat> okay and let's have some ammo here Okay. I have to reload. I have to zoom in. The lean mode is also working properly. Okay. Nice. Yeah, guys.
Let's try this in the game. Is resting. The match is over, and the blue team is in the lead. Like we have a strain when we use this one for a long time. So it's nice, good. Whoa! I didn't expect that. <laughs> recap tayo regarding sa experience ko sa Z1 uh, masabi ko lang na mas smooth and responsive yung Z1 device compared to X1 battle lock konti lang naman, konting konti lang hindi ko naman sinasabi na pangit si X1 uh, nagamit ko na rin naman si X1 like uh, for how many months so wala akong masabi din sa X1. Uh, thumbs up din ako. 2 thumbs up din ako. But for the Z1, 2 plus 1. So, sa akin, mas okay si Z1. And ergonomic wise, uh, syempre, kita nyo naman, meron siyang palm rest. And yung clicking sound ng keypad niya is satisfying. Parang ang gamer talaga. So, Uh, yung sensitivity din ng mouse uh, yung interfacing ng mouse to games here and then to iPod yung kanilang uh, interfacing it's good yung sensitivity uh, perfect para sa akin and 
yung yun nga yung response ng key, uh, keypad dun sa uh, iPad very uh, smooth so yun para sa akin kung bibili ka ng X1 bottle dock kung low budget ka it's fine no, walang problema dun pero kung medyo matitiis mo pa yung sarili mo at uh, gusto mo ng medyo mas upgraded na konti na device for your gaming dun ka sa Z1 Uh, yun lang. Uh, pero yun nga. Uh, Performance-wise, uh, Z1, syempre. Uh, of course, upgraded na yung mga chipset na ginamit dyan. And, uh, yung ang napakadali nung Kiri mapping. Actually, siguro, yun yung advantage ng Z1. Uh, hindi mo na kailangan na mahabang proseso sa pag-config uh, ng uh, FPS dock. And nakita nyo naman kung gano'ng ka-smooth yung nangyaring uh, process. And para sa akin, mas mabilis yung nag- nangyaring ito. In-install ko lang. So, recap natin. In-install lang natin yung FPS dock. In-install lang natin yung g crooks And then, actually, default lang yung nangyaring key remapping dun sa FPS dock. Then, uh, all runs smoothly. So, good job. Para sa akin. And yun, uh, gusto ko rin pala magpasalamat. Actually, yung Z1 device na ginamit ko ay hindi sa akin. Uh, hiniram ko lang siya sa aking kaibigan, si Her Louie. Thank, thank you uh, for letting me this uh, device to borrow from you. Bro, uh, salamat. At uh, yun, gusto ko lang kasing i-share din sa ibang gamer natin na uh, itong device na to is uh, pwede rin natin gamitin. And mas maganda, mas madali, mas ergonomics, yun nga lang, mas mahal. Pero, yun. Thank you bro. Herluwi, thank you. Credit sa'yo. And uh, sana uh, sa susunod, pairamin mo naman ako ng gaming laptop mo. Joke. <laughs> Ayan. Uh, see you guys sa uh, next uh, video Let- experience wise kasi guys para sa akin napakabilis pagka iOS yung gamit mo though may mga Android users tayo na <clears throat> talagang dedicated sila sa Android pero as you can see uh, yun palang FPS dock and G crooks makikita mo na sa App Store so you don't have any problem on searching for G crooks and uh, FPS dock because uh, you can easily see this in App Store. So it means legit yung uh, software na to. And uh, I, I, I'm sorry Android user but uh, for me it's much smoother kung gagamitin natin is iOS device. Uh, wala akong uh, sinasabi na pangit ang Android because I'm using also Android phone. And uh, yun nga lang, magkaiba. Android phone for me, it's my uh, basic driver for phone and iOS device like my iPod is for my gaming and watching. So, yun lang guys. And uh, sa mga bago pa lang sa aking channel, please subscribe and share this uh, video. Uh, share your comment below and like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell button. Thank you guys.